everybody, Bro Squad here, and today we're gonna be doing yet another episode of BSN episode Quattro, which is four. Trois, which is also four in French. Quattro, four in Espanol. I'm so, I'm so educated. <laughs> um, yeah, today we're gonna be doing another another BSN episode, and we're gonna be we're the. We're going to be talking about travel and hobbies. And if you don't know what BSN is, it, it's all about becoming a better person or like something to stay healthy, whether it's mentally, physically, you know, spiritually, I guess. And then there's also like, um, sensibly, I, I don't know, something else. Well, we'll think of something. Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's just start off with the joke of the day, alright? What's the difference between the bird flu and the swine flu? One requires tweetment and the other an oinkment. I need, I need my pencil back. Yep, that's, that's your corny joke of the day. <laughs> That's a good joke. I'm, I'm, the only reason I'm not laughing is because I, I just, I went through it so many times, but it's still funny though. Okay, so if you want to tell your dad a corny joke, there, there you go. <laughs> he'll laugh. He'll laugh. He'll get it. He'll get it. Um, I'm just gonna repeat everything twice, and hopefully, you know, you guys will understand. The pencil still fixed. The pencil's okay. Yeah, I broke it once, and like. I fixed it somehow. Um, uh, today, believe it or not, is National Cashback Day. Meaning, get your refunds, bro. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I I do a lot of research into these things, which makes me even more educated as a, as educated as I am right now. And today's National Cashback Day. I mean, I don't know. Pretty good. I don't mean, know. I wouldn't mind getting a refund for a few things I bought, which is like a few things. I mean, I bought a lot of stuff, but a lot of it's been worth it. But there's been a few times I'm just like, I wasted so much money. <laughs> uh, yeah. That that got too real. That got too real. Mm -mm, too real. <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember having a conversation with my mom, and it, it got too real. Too real. <laughs> um, uh, let's be serious for a second. Uh, William Lucking died last month. Uh, he was an actor, and some of the movies he's been on. Sleep Stalker, Sparks, The Price of Passion, Columbo, Goes to College, and A Father for Charlie. Uh, those are just a few of the movies he's been in. He's been in a lot. I've done more research on that as well. Um, yeah, so he, he died. Uh, I don't know if I already said this or not, but he died last month. Uh, so let's just give him a proper 20 seconds of silence starting now. Okay, it's been about 20 seconds. Uh, sorry if you're my dog. My dog's a barker. I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, but de death is really hard to deal with. Um, never really knew him as a person. Didn't really know him as an actor, but you know, things happen. Uh, with every good, there's bad. Uh, I don't know where I heard it. I hear it a lot. I don't know where I originally heard it, but it's true. It's true. Um, the, let's move on to the poem of the day, is, Darling, if I were the moon, I would like you to be my brightness, by Alexandra Vaseline, 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 something like that, I, I'm really bad at pronouncing last names, but Alexandra, uh, we'll call it Alexandra B, um, I don't know what this means at all, I just thought it sounded cool, and if you're a poetic person, you might be able to interpret that. I, I, I can't. 
Okay, so we're going to be talking about. Well, let's just start off with a really basic thing. We're going to be talking about um, uh, traveling, traveling. So you want to sit down for this one, which you probably already are. Um, <laughs> traveling. Uh, when I when I when I was growing up, and I technically still am. Um, traveling was a big part of my life. Like, every holiday, we'd go out traveling. And, like, any time we had, like, and I mean every holiday. So, like, if we had, like, one day off of school, like, Labor Day or Martin Luther King Jr. Day, uh, we would actually, like, just take a vacation and just travel somewhere, like, on a car. Like, whether it's going to my hometown, visiting my grandpa, or something like that. And traveling's getting a little crazy uh, recently. Um, I I went to DC. I had the privilege of going to DC uh, last summer. And when I got on the plane, that's right, I went on a plane. Oh yeah, with me and my brother. Uh, we we went on a plane to DC, and it was honestly nice. Um, I remember coming back, and they said that we would experience like slight issues and honestly it wasn't that big it was like little shaking if, if, if those are the issues planes are actually really safe then <laughs> um the worst part is when it's like going up and going down your ears pop like crazy but other than that it's honestly really great but the weird thing is like you ha if you want to travel on planes anyways you have to get vaccinated or take a vaccine test uh, you have to have proof that you've been vaccinated, and you have to have proof that you, they took a COVID test um, three days prior. Or it could even be one day prior, depends on where you are, to come to America. Um, to leaving America, I don't know, but if you leave America and you have to come back, you have to take a COVID test, I'm pretty sure. Um, or the vaccine. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to do, because... Uh, I don't like it when people tell me what to do. I don't I and mean, so why would I do it to you? It's that simple. Um, um, I just wish that people could start to ask nicely. <laughs> Instead of like saying, yo, do this. Or else you won't be able to come back home. It gets on my nerves a little. And so traveling is getting more and more complicated. It, it really is. And... The only thing you can really say about it is like, you either don't go on a plane and like do everything on a car ride, which is what I'm used to. Um, I am really used to going on a car ride. So if you don't get car sick that easily, I do suggest doing it. It's really good. Bonding experience for family. It might start off a little awkward, but usually at the end, you, you know, the car is like your second home. <laughs> um, it's a it's a really really interesting thing. Um, the backgrounds. It sounds like I'm in an awful neighborhood. I'm not. I love my neighborhood. Oh. <laughs> it's it's not that crazy. I swear. <laughs> Um, yeah, but traveling is also really hard, but I do recommend if you don't want to take a vaccine, if you don't want to get a test, go on a car. Like, there's other options. It's not always black or white. Uh, let's move on to hobbies. Um, a lot of people say that, like, everybody's got to have a hobby, and I can see why they say that, and, and in some terms, I even agree. It's always good to have a hobby. But the people who say that it's good to have a hobby have a job that they do not like. So the hobby that they have is, like, their true passion. And I've always wondered, like, why don't they just do the hobby as their job? Like, why don't they just go to work every day happy? I've, and I've always wondered that, and I still somewhat wonder that today. But hobbies... Especially in the Corona season, hobbies are actually very, very important. And 
I do suggest that you do something other than like, like you can watch BSN, you can watch um, educational videos and whatnot. But I and it's okay to watch a few like weird videos too, like not weird weird, but like you know songs and whatnot. And then like you could also watch other stuff with uh, gaming or like whatever you're into. But I don't suggest doing that in your free time. Uh, we already discussed about free time like the first episode. But hobbies is another good thing to do if cuz when you have stress levels which you you truly start to have them when you're in high school. You get thrown in the deep end when you go into high school. So hobbies are actually really good with relieving your stress. It's like an outlet you can go to to relieve your stress. Now I don't even know if there's a true way to get rid of stress, but I do know how to like somewhat eradicate it. And like not like fully get rid of it, but like different ways you can like calm down and whatnot. And to me, there's a few hobbies that I have. Um, this YouTube right here, I mean, this is one of my outlets when I have stress. Um, another hobby I actually have is, believe it or not, rapping. I like to rap. Um, another hobby I have is, uh, wrestling. I don't mean to flex, but, you know, I'm, <laughs> I like to wrestle. And, I mean, there's all kinds of hobbies that you can have. I have another hobby for acting. I don't know why. It's just a hobby I have. But use it as an outlet to relieve your stress. That's what I'm trying to get to here. Is hobbies can be used as a relief. And it can even challenge your brain a little. Which all of my hobbies kind of do. And you can have more than one too. That's awesome. Okay. Um, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll end the BSN episode here. I can't make a video longer than 15 minutes. Wish I could. But, you know. YouTube Studio is a little weird. So hopefully they'll figure that out. So I can make these longer. Because I have to, like, explain and, like, shorten it, explain, shorten it. My pencil's doing okay. It actually is a little broken. I don't know why. I'll fix it by the next episode, probably. Um, anyways, guys, I'll be all for today's video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bro Squad, out!